Alright, hello everyone, FLR here, and welcome to another Space Engineers episode, uh, Modded Survival. Um, so, a lot has happened since the last episode, and um, part of that is uh, I've been I've unable to record any episodes up until now. Uh, and this one is being, um, I, I don't know if I should really say this, but this one's being up, up, er, up um, recorded, that's the word I want, um, on the day that it goes up. Um, because I just didn't have time to record before this, uh, this weekend due to some, uh, convention that I was at. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. So a lot of, a lot has happened since the last time I recorded. Um, and part of that is because I've been, because of, you know, what I just said. And part of that is, oh, you can walk into this hitbox. Uh, part of that is because, uh, my roommate, former roommate, I should say, from college, and I have been playing, uh, together some. Now, uh, I can't, I think in the last episode, this was started, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is our little... Why can I still fly? What the heck? Oh, do I have... I must have admin on from cleanup. Aha! There we go. Uh... Now what do I do? Probably this. Okay. Slap those in there. Grab that out of there. Okay. Now that uh, we won't die when we jump off this ship, so this may, this might be easier to show in light, but um, this ship here is now uh, basically finished constructing. I realized, however, last night uh, when I was putting the finishing touches on the bridge that I don't have a jump drive on here. So I don't know if we're going to put one on here actually at all, because my original, and I guess I think this is still the plan, um, but our you know my roommate mine and my roommate's plan originally was just to um, fly this up to, you know, an asteroid or the moon, maybe, and then grind it down and basically use it and whatever else we have to build a base. Um, this doesn't... I need to add building repairs on this yet. There's That's one thing, actually, that I do need to do. Um, and that, that one was part of the plan. That's the, I didn't forget that one. Um, <clears throat> oh, the other thing I did was build this little mining ship over here. Um, this... This, I'm going to... It, it, it's not, not good. Um, I'm going to have to tinker with it today some, I think. Um, so that might be part of our episode here. Um, this, uh, due to limited time, I think this episode is either going to be a little bit shorter or in two parts, um, just so you know, because I'll, if I... Depending on how long this first part goes, I may have to leave in the middle of recording and then come back. Um, so if there's a weird cut kind of in the middle of something here in about... Oh, 20 minutes or so. <clears throat> That's why. Uh, but anyway, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, so a couple of other things have happened. Um, why is there an invisible hitbox there? What the heck? Uh, anyway, so, uh, oh, we did finish finally mounting all of the turrets on here. Um, I decided to go with these because they take, their ammo all only take, I believe, iron and magnesium, and we have a decent amount of magnesium nearby the base. Um, our problem now, and I think that's going to be our immediate, um, our immediate, uh, uh, thing that we work on now is we are very, very low on uranium. So I'm actually going to take the small, so that, that miner, I just threw it together with the Mexpex heavy mining drill. Fantastic mod, by the way. Uh, all of the Mexpex, uh, stuff is, is very well done, um. I highly recommend the weapon mod and, and uh, the other mods as well. Um, but anyway, that mining drill is really, really uh, nice. Uh, but uh, I didn't put enough reactors, enough cargo space, or enough thrusters on the ship. So when I loaded it fully down with ice, uh, which I mined from over there, uh, I ran out of uh, uh, thrust to lift it. Um, and was only just barely able to get it in line with the... Uh, docking port there um so i'll have to, i'm gonna take it's pulled all the ice out of it now as you can see it's it's got it's working on the ice and we've actually used about half of the ice more than half of the ice that i got yesterday filling up the hydrogen t hydrogen tanks on the uh, big capital ship <clears throat> and i think there are some on the base as well that are being filled um which so our our plan or at least my plan i haven't really talked to my roommate about my former roommate i guess my friend i just call him my friend um that's the easiest thing. Uh, anyway, I haven't talked to my friend about this. Um, 
he he's not really a big fan of base building. Um, he likes to build ships more, and I I like base building. I like tinkering with stuff, setting it up in in you know unique ways, and and kind of figuring out how to fit it in an asteroid or something like that. But anyway, so at least my plan right now, uh, without any other, you know, back and forth with uh, my friend, um, <clears throat> is to fly the like I said a little bit ago, fly the ship up and into space, um, find you know, an asteroid or a moon, whatever, uh, and then park it, uh, there, start building a base of some sort, and then, um, eventually grind down the ship for parts to build the base, and then one or both of us have a couple of ship designs that we could use to, um, that, that are, you know, space, more space-capable ships than what we have right now. Now, I don't, at that point, resources are going to be more of an issue than they are now. We have... I have every resource that spawns on planets. So basically everything except platinum within about a 5 kilometer radius of the base. Why is the fuel time so low on this? Oh, we might be completely out of uranium. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we have... I have every resource that spawns on planets. So like I said, everything except platinum, essentially. Um within roughly five five and a half kilometers maybe six um obviously asteroids don't usually spawn quite that close together so that's that's a potential challenge for once we're in space um but i think i think we'll be okay so that this will be a bit of a mining and maybe a building episode as well okay now we're gonna face up a little bit more and do it this way So, no, my game has not crashed. Um, I'm, I can't remember if I've mentioned this in previous episodes or not, but this is the Space Just Got Real mod, and it's really dark. It's real dark. I mean, the skybox looks in... Oops. I don't need the G-Force experience. Why did the ship... I turned the inertial dampeners off. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Um, that was not an anticipated, uh, this, I did not anticipate running into this problem. Um, I guess I'll grind these thrusters down real quick, slap the parts in that car or in the connector, and I guess I'll have to borrow my friend's uh, salvage ship that he put together, um, and break this down and. Guess I'll build a new miner. I don't know exactly how we're gonna get uranium right now, uh, because I, as I said, I didn't uh, plan for this kind of thing. But I guess we're just gonna commit suicide and go back to <laughs> spawn at the base. Um, can we even build good tools? Yeah, actually, we can build decent tools. At least we should be able to. Come on, pull the resources, please. There you go. Okay. Um. Hydrogen bottles. Alright. I guess I'll go see... I need an ore detector on that ship. I was originally just gonna... Because that ship is the large ship over here, so kind of... Not particularly easy to use, I guess. Um, I was originally just going to... 
You know what? We have... We actually do have a lot of uranium. What does the base say, power-wise? If I work on modifying the ship first, instead of... Going to get uranium. We have two days of uranium. Alright, I'm gonna work on modifying the ship first. So this is gonna be a shipbuilding episode. So we'll grab some more steel plate. Now I'm basically gonna completely gut the ship and redo it. Um, I, like I said, I did this kind of real quick and dirty to just sort of set something up um, that we could use to mine, you know, real quick. Okay, that color's not gonna work though. So we'll do it about here and go out to about there. So that's probably good enough. I'm just quickly throwing some scaffolding together here so that I can... Not there. Uh, so that I can walk around up here where the drill go. There it is. Like I said, we still are... Well, I don't know if I've mentioned this in, in a previous episode or not. But we still have a little bit of platinum left over from our initial start. Um, I've been mostly saving that for kind of emergency sort of things. Alright. Time to start stripping this piece of junk. So I'm, I'm, my plan right now is essentially to pretty much completely redo this whole thing. That's the plan at the moment. Basically, the only thing I'm not going to touch is the batteries, those blocks, the gyroscopes are fine, the reactor's fine. I probably should add another reactor on here. Um, I wonder, I need to check... Where is my roommate? Oh, he parked his, sh his ship way the hell off there. Okay. So we should be okay then on... <clears throat> it should be only the base bobs that are picking things up. Because I haven't added the ones to the capital ship yet. I just nodded, or like shook my head at it. Like you guys can see me. All right. Uh, good job. I'll have you know I haven't finished my coffee yet. That's going to be my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. So we'll have to edit the scaffolding a little bit here. It might be up a little bit. Oh, crap. Am I dead? Nope, I'm not dead. Okay, I didn't actually take any damage. That is... <clears throat> fortuitous. Oh, yeah. So here's... here's So this, this original path here is where I used the small miner to get ice. And then that's where that big miner went through. Um, I've actually used that big miner before to create kind of a space space sort of thing um, and it works pretty well just okay I don't I don't intend to extend it very far over where it is now so I'm gonna create Scaffolding that goes over the top here. Is that actually too tall? Let's see. I do that. No, I can't do it any taller. Okay, it'll work. All right. Uh, no, I don't want yellow. Okay, I want to get rid 
this. Okay, I didn't really want that. That's fine. Doesn't matter. No, 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 shit. No, 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 don't take that reactor down! Stop! And that is a classic example of the dangers of using the build and repair system. Shit. Well, hopefully it'll pull automatically. No, it won't because Tim's being a little bitch. Okay. So this is how you set a priority. So I'm going to give this 30 uranium. And Tim will automatically give it 30 uranium or as close to that as he can get. Now, uh, we have enough reactors in and around the base, etc. That... Um, it's probably not going to be able to give it a full 30, but what it'll do is tr do its best to give it as close to that full 30 as possible. So that might knock that off. Um, sure. So, like I said, we're pretty much gutting this and redoing it. Um, so I want to get rid of these blocks here. I'm going to replace them. So I like to armor in between the... Uh, uh, drill and the rest of the ship. Just because, you know, driving a gigantic drilling machine sometimes results in you bashing it on things. At least it does for me. Maybe it's just because I'm a bad driver or something. But anyway. So get rid of that. And that. 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 And that. Oh, and that. And that. That. And that. So we... The base has... I mined far more resources than I am able to use um, in this current game. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm just, you know, freely spending resources on stuff, I have probably more resources than I could ever use in a survival game like this. Um, and I, I'm honestly not... I think it's part of the better stone mod that caused the kind of weirdness. Oh shit. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. Inventory. Grinder, there it is. Anyway, um on it. I don't need to worry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not, I, I'm not sure if this is intentional that I can't go, like, up with my jetpack on planets, or whether that is a mod that I have on here that's not interacting properly, or whether that's just something broken with the save file, my world file, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, jetpacks are not as useful as one would probably like them to be. Um, Okay, what else do we have to get rid of here? The gyroscopes are going to stay. I like that. Well, I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure I like the gyroscope placement, to be honest. I'm tempted to put them kind of there in those three slots and then put there. I think we're going to do that, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. So before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and replace these. Now, something like this didn't have, because it wasn't really originally intended to be our only ore mining machine, uh, was uh, an ore detector. This was just supposed to be a basically an ice mining machine, because you need, you know, massive quantities of... Also, five gyroscopes is plenty. I'm not going to put any more than that. Because you need massive quantities of... Um, of... Uh, Ice. 
ice to power, especially to do large amounts of hydrogen. So I, you know, did a big humongous thing of ice. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just run the ceiling across here. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to do that and that. So I don't want any of the open area around the gyroscopes. Okay. Alright, we're going to need to build some more scaffolding around this side, I think. I'm not entirely sure what structure my roommate was planning to, my uh, friend, uh, was planning to build here. Um, I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, and I just fell through it. Um, but who knows. Anyway. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of these thrusters, though. That's probably the next priority. So I'm gonna get rid of that block. And these five thrusters. If that block falls on my face, uh, and it did. Almost. Now. That knocked that thruster. No, it didn't. Okay. I'll have to go up there to do it. Okay. Uh, what else? I think that's about it as far as disassembling the ship to redo it. Um. Oh yeah, now, th now that we can see the ship here, let's spectator cam and take a look at it. Uh, so this is my friend, former roommate's um, ship, uh, the, our salvage ship. It, as you can see, it has a whole bunch of build and repairs attached to it. It has the plasma cannons that the fighter has on it. Um, and it's just a just a decent decent uh, salvage ship for right now that we can use on the atmosphere. It's got I think these are tier two or three thrusters maybe, um, but anyway. So the big capital ship. So um, my inspiration for this was the Falcon Heavy, um, and then I just kind of space bricked it. I guess um, I didn't really. I, I didn't really want to put too much effort into designing. Whoa, a little bit of chop there. I didn't want to put too much effort into designing this because I knew that at least my plan when, uh, when building it, and that's still my plan like I mentioned earlier, is just to fly up, find an asteroid base that's got a decent amount of resources, build a base in it, and, you know, then start building um, more combat-capable ships. This ship is going to get eaten up by the drones from the corruption mod. I can tell you that right now it's going to get eaten... I mean... They'll eat it for lunch, uh, without shields. I mean, it's that's mod. The mod is designed to be used by people who are using a lot of mods. Um, it's it's not designed really designed for people who are vanilla. Um, I mean, I, I think I think the mod author Lucas has tried to keep it as close to balanced as possible. But I still think people using vanilla stuff are gonna struggle with it. I think they're going to struggle big time. Uh, my my uh, former roommate was redesigning the back area here, so that's why it's not quite finished. Uh, but I did finish basically everything else here. It's armed. Uh, it's heavy armor from here back, I think. Um, protecting hydrogen cargo reactors. Um, and then I it was using so many resources that I decided to go light armor for the front. So, uh, and these are all from the... Uh, is it MWI or Mexpex mod pack? I can't remember. It's Tellian. Um, Mexpex weapons. Yeah, those are all Mexpex weapons. So, um, and then these, I believe, are tier 3, maybe 2? I think 3 hydrogen thrusters. So they, they use a lot of fuel, but they give you a lot of boom, too. Um, and then this is, this is the mining ship. I'm I'm envisioning expanding the length just to fit more stuff in it. I mean, it had I think it had enough power. Um, it's just that you know batteries are batteries. <clears throat> so I don't I I haven't decided if I'm going to put another reactor on here yet or not. That that may be a thing. It may be just another cargo container. But anyway, capital ship. So the capital ship. Here's the bridge. Uh, we'll turn our spectator cam light on and slow down a little bit. So here's the bridge. Speed up just a little bit. This area houses rea uh, refinery, rather, and assembler, or just assembler. I don't remember what's here. I think refinery and assembler. 
this area houses medical stuff. Um, some, uh, does this area have oxygen generators? I don't remember. Yeah, this area has oxygen generators as well. Um, this is the, just the reactor room and some hydrogen fuel. Um, and then going inside this part of the ship, this is, houses more hydrogen tanks. So the ship, as far as my ship builds go, it's pretty compact. I tend to build ships with way too much space. Um, and that's, that's one of the reasons why they don't look as good, is because I have too much space and I don't know what to do with it. Um, so in this one, I mean, obviously it's not, you know, this isn't going to win any awards for anything other than being a phallic-shaped ship. Um, I mean, my roommate's is much more, but you know, but he put, he put, I guarantee you, he, he put probably ten times as much time into his ship as I did into mine. So, you know. I would think that his would look better than mine when he puts that much more time into it. I mean, this was just a quick, oh, I have an idea. Okay, let's start building. Um, and, I mean, the mining ship took me 20 minutes to build, maybe. But I always build kind of hexagonal or ovoid-shaped mining ships that are just basically a long kind of uh, brick. And apologies for the phone sound. Um... Anyway, so at this point, uh, I think we're going to, the cut I talked about is going to happen at this point. Um, depending on how long the episode is, uh, we'll see. But I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll either see you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Please remember to leave a comment, subscribe, like, all of those things. And watch the second part if there's a second part. Or enjoy the next episode, which will be on Thursdays. Have a good day.